Next question is from Flaw4581. What sport community do you feel generally underutilizes or totally overlooks weightlifting? You know, these days, luckily, most sports uh, utilize some form of resistance training. It wasn't like this not that long ago. You I don't, know, yeah, I don't, you know, I, I'm i looking at, he gave some examples, rock climbers, endurance, runners, cyclists. cyclists. You know, I'm trying to think, is, is there anybody at the most elite level in any of those sports or any other sport for that matter that has not learned that strength training has got to be part of the routine? I, I wouldn't say at the elite level. I think at the elite level by now, everybody utilizes some form of resistance right. training to strengthen the body or protect, at least protect against injuries. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know 30, 40 years ago, uh, a lot of athletes didn't use it. Before that, it was nobody. You know, I think it was football players. If we're not, if I'm not mistaken, were the first mainstream athletes to use football. Excuse me, uh, resistance training. But before that, if you lifted weights, they said you would get muscle bound. Uh, mm -hmm. You'd lose your athleticism, which isn't. Which isn't. Oh, true that was big in the baseball community. Is like uh, they were trying so hard not to develop muscles in the upper body, especially because they thought it would slow down your bat swing. Yeah, and then Mark McGuire come out and <laughs> yeah, it crushed him. everybody. That's right. Yeah, I would say uh, mainstream. Forget the elite, because at the elite, everybody does resistance training now. It's just changed according to the sport. But just kind of mainstream, I'd say endurance athletes. Endurance athletes, when I would train clients. Uh, or when I worked in gyms, the endurance athletes were the ones that were the least likely to want to do any resistance training. Mm -hmm. But on the flip side, they were also the most blown away when they'd incorporate it. I used mm -hmm. to love taking uh, triathletes and you know marathon runners. I actually trained a couple uh, runners that ran um, uh, century runs where they would run 100 miles. And we would do resistance training appropriate, right? So I would correctional exercise and I, you know pr injury prevention time resistance training. And they would just, they would come back and be like, I can't believe I didn't do this before. It's like, I am so much faster. I don't hurt as much. Um, it's been such an uh, incredible addition to my routine. I mean, granted, it wasn't, it wasn't much. It was once a week. But uh, it made a huge difference. But yeah, I had some cyclists. I think that was a community that um, uh, definitely, like, uh, my client was interested in it and found the benefits of it, especially in uh, when when he needed to go up hills and gain that power and extra strength and, and found a lot of uh, resiliency from working out. It kept him from getting injured as often. He used to get injured a lot more when he'd fall off his bike and, you know, break his collarbone or like other, uh, you know, muscles and, and things would tear. And so, you know, there was a lot of benefit there, but he would always express to me like how much it was needed in that community. Not a lot of people were uh, seeing the benefit to, to also like lifting weights to you know to promote uh more uh, performance in cycling well I, I would agree i think endurance if there's any if there's anywhere because i think at the at the highest level i think they all do but if there's anywhere i'd say endurance because they can get away with it the most you can be still pretty damn good of an endurance like energy efficiency yeah exactly i mean and that and we talk about this all the time right like nothing is going to get you better to your sport than doing your sport more and more and that's an endurance sport so you got to do it a lot to get good mm -hmm. at it so you've become a very good, you know, uh, swimmer, runner, you know, cyclist for long distance by just doing lots of that and and be okay and probably pretty damn competitive. And the weight training is not going to, you know, benefit as much as somebody who's obviously more of a strength sport, right? Yeah. And then the key is also um, doing the resistance training appropriately for the sport. If I take an endurance yeah. athlete and I train mm -hmm. them with weights wrong, uh, I'm going to make them a worse. Yeah, endurance athlete. Um, yeah, hurt them. Same thing with any other uh, athlete. It's a totally different approach. And like I'm, I'm tr when I'm training endurance athletes with resistance training, I'm pr injury prevention. I'm increasing stability. Um, I'm working on muscles to promote posture because running biomechanics start to get decelerating less, muscles, things like that. Exactly, yeah. totally. Um, I've worked with uh, dancers with resistance training, um, and again, uh, and they had to maintain their aesthetics, right? Because mm -hmm. they're on stage. So I'm not trying to build tons of strength and muscle, but what I am trying to do is support their, uh, increase their support and stability so that they can maintain their posture and do their moves better or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it has to be applied appropriately, but. But, uh, you know, the, the core of resistance training is strengthening. So if it's applied properly, it will just strengthen your positions and strengthen your technique. And that's the thing that you need to understand uh, about it.